Hi guys and assalamualaikum. Said here from Box of Tech and welcome back for another video. So today we will be reviewing one of the two best selling phones here in Malaysia, which is the Apple iPhone 7 and also the iPhone 7 Plus. So in my hands, I have the iPhone 7 and also the iPhone 7 Plus. What makes this phone really affordable and it is still relevant on the year 2021 is because it still supports the latest iOS. And yes, the iPhone 7 Plus was the first iPhone that had a dual camera system. And the iPhone 7 series was the first iPhone that had the jet black color which looks really beautiful and premium but besides that beauty it does have the problems where it is really easy to scratch if you get the jet black color make sure you have a case every time on your phone to prevent scratches and also dirt coming on the back of your phone and yes these phones were actually one of the phones that was the best selling in history okay but I almost forgot it where if you get it separately like how I did it will come with this small box which just says here lightning to headphone jack adapter and inside the box you will just have the adapter and some documentation that are pretty useless since this this is just an adapter not kind of like a charger or anything why do you need documentations so then you will just get the adapter just like this and yeah the price is 55 ringgit here in malaysia which is i think pretty expensive huh? for just this but since they do not provide it in the box anymore you need to get this if you want to use any 3.5 millimeter jack adapter or maybe a microphone or an aux cable now as you can see we're gonna talk about the size and the screen which is our first topic for this review now as you can see of the flagship of 2016 such as the samsung galaxy s7 the samsung galaxy note 7 most of them has big sizes like the iphone 7 plus so we can consider the iphone 7 a compact flagship phone at that time due to its size which was the same for two years before that which was the 6s and also the 6 but even though the size is compact i really like the iphone 7 because me as a one-handed user it feels really nice to hold you do not really have to stretch your hand if you are a one-handed user but if you use your phone with two hands I'm pretty sure you will go with the 7 Plus because it, the width is longer and it has a bigger screen. So the iPhone 7 has a 4.7 inch Retina HD display just like the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus has 5.5 inches. So as we can see after the screen, the next topic is the design. As what will people expect from an iPhone? An iPhone has that really beautiful and the premium design. Now, as you can see, the difference with the iPhone 6 as that came before this phone is the iPhone 7 has a bigger camera lens and the iPhone 7 Plus has bigger camera lens too, but the iPhone 7 Plus has two of them. And yes, both of them still have the same exact size. So if you put the iPhone 6s in an iphone 7 case it will fit totally fine but just you will can you cannot access the headphone jack and the camera alignment where the iphone 7 goes is a little bit on top from the iphone 6s and yes to me the design of the iphone 7 and the 7 plus still looks beautiful even though it still has the top and bottom bezel on the phone but yes maybe for gamers they will like the bezel because it has kind of like a grip. So now we're going to talk about the cameras. As everyone knows, one, uh, one of the best phone cameras is on iPhone. So on the iPhone 7, you have a single 12 megapixel wide camera. 
but on the iPhone 7 Plus, you have a dual camera system. But yes, both still has the uh, rear microphone and also the flash. So as you can see, the iPhone 7 Plus, you have a 12 megapixel wide camera, just like the iPhone 7. But since because it has a dual camera system, you will have another camera, which is the 12 megapixel telephoto camera. So you will, if you need like in-depth or more focused or portrait po uh, pictures or videos, I will recommend you the iPhone 7 Plus. But if those features are not important to you, the iPhone 7 is good to go. Now as for the variations and the price, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus comes in three storage variations which is the 32GB, the 128GB and also the 256GB. It comes in six colors which is the jet black that I have on the iPhone 7, the matte black on the 7 Plus, it has four other colors which is gold, silver, rose gold and also product red. Now, as for the price, you can get the iPhone 7 brand new starting from 899 ringgit and the iPhone 7 Plus brand new starting from 1,299 ringgit. But if you're going for the used iPhone 7, also the 7 Plus, you can get the iPhone 7 starting from only 499 ringgit. And the iPhone 7 Plus starting from 899 ringgit. Prices are based on Alaysia's market value today. But yes, even though these iPhones are pretty old, their price are now actually cheap and it is still relevant for 2021. And maybe due to the pandemic, you can use this phone for online classes or maybe for online meetings. And yes, this phone is actually really suitable for gaming, the iPhone 7 Plus, because it has a big screen. And gamers, yes, as I mentioned, gamers would like iPhones that has bezels because it feels like a controller where you have grips at the sides. Because if you use a, an iPhone or any phone that has a full screen, you might accidentally press anything which will disturb your game. But yes, the camera is still beautiful. And yes, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. What do you think on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus? So see you guys again. Goodbye.